Hello friends, so today we can discuss the problem B from the latest educational code for season 95 problem name negative prefixes. So you are given an array A consisting of n integers and at each position like and each position of that array the number is either locked or unlocked. So like as you can see in this array the underlined positions are like locked and the non underlined position are unlocked. So now what you can do you can only take all those numbers which are unlocked and like move them around like do a permutation of all those numbers which are unlocked move them around such that after the new series which you can form what you can do you have to find out the prefix of the new arrangement so like like if you found like formed like the starting area is this then these are the possible positions so you can take these number of numbers and like you can arrange them such that the new arrangement can be so on and any can any one of these or like any other sequence but then you will find out the prefix so the this p is a sequence of prefix sums so like p1 is a1 p2 is a1 plus a2 and so on now k is the maximum j so like you have to find out k k is actually the maximum j j is between 1 to n so between 1 to n if you find out a j which is less than 0 so if any of the prefixes is negative okay and you have to find out the you have to make the sequence as that k is minimum which means that you will encounter a negative prefix as close as possible which means that okay you will find out a sequence in which when you move from left to right which is the which is the first negative prefix you will find out the index of that value is the k if there is no negative prefixes then the answer is zero because there is no in like negative so that the first value is zero so you have to try to minimize this value so what you'll do your main task is let's assume that you have some uh, values now this is fixed this is fixed you have to fill these positions with the permutation of the values which are given to you such that when you move from left to right you have to ensure that you minimize the chances of getting negative prefixes because if you minimize the chances of getting negative prefixes when you move from left to right if everything is positive then the k is equal to 0 which is minimum as possible but also if like you put a very large number here so let's assume that in, in the initial in the initial array there is like 100 at this position then 2 at this position and like like uh, minus 100 at this position if you remain it like this then the prefix of first term is minus 100 which is like bad so what you can do here is you can put out the first number in the start which is like 100 and then uh, you cannot move this you can put 2 here then minus 100 here and then x here then as you can see when you move from left to right the prefix is 100 then there is some number then it is again increasing and then minus 100 so it is again still positive so how you can ensure that you are just taking out all the numbers which are non fixed take out all those numbers and then permute it and put them in the decreasing order because when you move from left to right if there's a very large number then it will compensate the numbers which are coming ahead in the series and thus it is like very likely chances that the permutation will be greater like the uh, series will be greater and you will the prefix sums will not get very small right it, it, it depends upon the series but we are ensuring that when we move from left to right the prefix are uh, like greater so that's the whole logic for the like second question I did not do the code part now, so it's very simple. If you like, you can observe it uh, by some hit and trial. So by drawing out some test cases, you can easily see that, and you can take that input of all the n numbers, and this is some b like another b vector. Take the input of all the numbers, then move from left to right, and then in the question itself, actually what they have given here is you are taking, you are given the array and also some bits. Zero means that this number is not fixed, and one means that this position is fixed. So what you can do, you can move from left to right, first uh, like fill all those numbers in A, then move from left to right and take the bit position, like whether this position is fixed. If this position is not fixed, what you will do, you will, uh, so what, what I will do here is, I will take down that position into the B vector and instead I will fill that position with a very large number. So like you are moving from left to right, if this position is not fixed how we can tell that if this bit is zero if this is if this bit is zero then only we'll get inside and if this bit is zero what we'll do we will fill this number with a very large number infinity let's assume like it's a very large number uh, because it is like this number cannot come in this 
range that's why i've chosen that number okay and then i will fill this with a very large number and will take out this number initially which number which actually is there in this position with in some another vector and then i will store all these numbers in some another vector and fill this position with very large number then after that i will again iterate over i will first sort this out from descending order like 100 to and minus 100 and then i will again iterate over this whole array from left to right and whenever i will see this infinity value i will put put this value because like i will put these values in those positions and that's the whole trick so i will iterate from left to right first sort them push all those values in some another b vector and then put the ai equal to a very large number then j is equal to zero which actually put a pointer in the b vector then i will iterate over from left to right again and whenever i see a of i equal to a very large number i will replace that a of i with b of j and increment j because j is like decreasing order so i'm choosing the first value in b and assigning it to the first uh, like very high number which i have put in in ai and so on and then in the end i will just print out the whole ai vector because that's the new ai uh, vector which i have made and that's the answer i hope you understand the logic as well as the code for the second question also if you still have any information i will see you in the next one keep coding bye